It's time for motivation on this Monday morning. We have Dr. Ulumide Oladakbo Emmanuel. He's popularly known as the common sense guru. You must have heard that some of course are one of the world's leading motivational speakers. And today our topic is financial discipline. Now that's something that everybody can get to learn from. It's great to have you, Doctor. You're welcome. Yeah, thanks for having me. You know, I just need to ask this question before we go straight up into our topic, right? Based on based off on what we saw over the weekend, every almost everybody these days they want to go on social media and they want to drop one motivational quote or something and all of that. There, there was this story of um, a young man who would always drop motivational quotes, but then he has been found out as he was, he was arrested as a kidnapper. You know, how does one, how does one pick or how does one uh, decide who to listen to on social media or anywhere, anywhere else? How are you sure that you're listening to somebody who is actually uh, uh, motivating for the right or not for clout? but actually knows what he's saying or has experienced what they're talking about? Well, in life, by their fruits, we shall know them. And consistency and time reveals the true character of people. Mm. So you can fake and deceive all of the people some of the time. But you cannot deceive all of the people all, all the of time. the time. So what okay. people need to do is to check out for consistency and to check out for the fruits in the lives of the people. I that like that, the fruits they, in their yeah, lives. The fruits in their lives, because like social that. media is also a fake life. Mm, I like so, that. So there's a f social media persona, but there's a real life. So find out the fruits of their life, and that's the real deal. Wonderful. I hope you're able to pick that up there, mm. find out the fruit. So let's get straight into it. We're talking about financial discipline today. Yeah. It is something that is extremely important. I mean, without financial discipline, there is so much one cannot achieve. By your own definition, how would you define financial discipline? Well, last week we looked at um, how to be able to come into a place of wealth. Mm. And we established the fact that there are three things that are needed. Number one, you need financial intelligence, mm. which is understanding money, how to make it, how to manage it, how to multiply it. Then you need a financial plan, which is you creating a plan on how to get from where you are to where you need to be, from your present financial position to your desired financial destination. But the third key is financial discipline. Mm. And that's what we separate between the men and the boys. And the boys. So financial discipline is that ability to stick to your plan, stick to the goals, and stick to the application of the principles that are required mm. for you to be able to achieve your financial problem. goals. Wonderful. So everyone that is matured and wise knows that they need to save. That's a starting point. You need to say, everybody knows, but how many people do save? People do. That's where the discipline comes in because people say, you know, I can't afford to save. No, you cannot That's afford it. Let's not to save. Someone says, I earn 30000 a month. Mm -hmm. My bills are 70000 So my, even my expense does not even equate, can't even take care of my expenditure. Mm -hmm. How do I save? You know, I said last week that when your expenditure is greater than your income, Mm. your upkeep will become your downfall. Exactly. So if you tell me that your expenditure is so high that your, what you are, your take home cannot take you home, then I need to start by investigating your expenditure. expenditure. Because most of the time, a lot of what people do are not necessary. You see, in life, there are needs, there are wants, and there are desires. desires. <laughs> so one thing you need to find out is all those things you call expenditure, if we rate them based on needs, wants, and desires, under what umbrella will they fall? Because mm. all you need is what you need. So, your so needs, the you need to focus on your basic needs. Need. So you cut down the expense. Cut down all the things that are out of this. So for instance, people say things like, you know, I have to eat three square meal. Hello, three is a square or a triangle. Ah, so where do you get the idea of three square meal? Who told you you have to eat three times a day? Where mm. you, who did that to you? Who messed you up to that level? Mm. Because you don't live to eat, you eat to live. Mm. But when you believe you have to eat three times a day, mm. even when you are not hungry, ah, I've not had lunch, oh, I need to eat lunch, oh, and you are not hungry, but because you lack understanding, you want to do that. I said last week, if you eat tomorrow's food today, uh -huh. You'll be hungry tomorrow. tomorrow. And that, that you if you wear tomorrow. tomorrow's clothes today, hmm. you have no clothes to wear tomorrow. If yeah. you live tomorrow's life today, you have no life to live tomorrow. So people need to understand that most of what we call expenditure, it's just, okay, you want to fix eyelashes, you want to fix bone straight, even though your <laughs> destiny is not straight. <laughs> it's not straight. And then you, have, you want to do bag and shoe to match. Your destiny is not what? matching your bank account. You want to have three handsets and maybe doing like a big boy. I but you don't, even, you don't even have any shares in all the telecom industry. Hmm. It's deception. Hmm. Now, there's a principle that people need to understand. It's called the 20, 40, 60 principle. And that principle helps us to understand that when you are in your 20s and in your 30s, Majority of the decisions you make is based on what people will say, how will people feel, what will people think, because you are too immature to understand that you are not a breaking news. Mm. 
your people are so busy thinking of their life that their you life. think they are the one they are thinking of. No, yeah, everybody's busy with their life. But by the time you now get to your 40s and your 50s, you don't really care what anybody is saying because now you have discovered that you are either a fool at 40 mm. or your life is just about to begin at 40. Begin at 40. And you don't care what anybody has said because after 40 years of doing the same thing without a result, you wake up to reality. Mm. But by the time you now get to your 60s, you realize that nobody was even saying anything. At any point in time? You were just the one putting yourself under unnecessary on pressure. pressure. How many times have you bought shoes thinking somebody will comment? Nobody said anything. And you don't want to say, ah, you didn't even say anything. I'm say, ah, you buy shoe. But you see the thing in this office, some of them, they be buying shoe every day. Some you you buy shoe. Now. Yeah, you know, because you, you know, them, a shoe. lot of women are in women. that trouble. Women. Oh, I love shoes. Uh, I love shoes. I think it's Gaddafi. You all have just, all, all yeah. have salary shoes. You have just two legs, though, and you're buying shoes like an octopus. <laughs> and then he said, I love shoes. If you love shoe, produce shoe. If you love shoes, sell shoes, design shoes, market shoes. Bam. Don't waste all your life. And also, financial discipline is just where we separate between the men and the boys. Mm. You can dream, you can desire, but without discipline, it will never happen. Some of them is shawarma, uh, parfait. They will eat shawarma twice or thrice a week and all of that. But I like what you said. You have to find a way to cut and save. And then after yeah. saving, how, how do you move there with the financial discipline? What now, the first thing, thing we need to understand is that savings is not an investment. A lot of people keep making that mistake. Okay. Savings is not an investment, but savings is required for investment. Wow. So saving is setting money aside for a purpose. Mm. Because when you are saving money, you are not making money. Because the inflation is eating it up, devaluation is eating it up. <sighs> but you need that discipline of saving in order for you to have money to invest. So we advise people to save a minimum of 10 to 20% of all their income. If you save between 10 to 20 percent of every money that comes into your life, after a period of time, you have enough to be able to now begin to invest. So savings is setting money aside for a purpose. Investment is sending money on assignment on for assignment. a return. But that is where the challenge is. A number of people have gotten into Ponzi schemes. A number of people have gotten because they want to invest. They have the money they have saved up. How do they, how do they get the right investment vehicle? That takes us back to the first point, financial intelligence. The first thing to invest in is to invest in yourself. Mm. Invest in your knowledge. But, because, you see, if you don't invest in knowledge, then you will be deceived because a lot of people are moved by greed, covetousness, groupthink, herd mentality, lend helplessness. All these things are things that affect you because they don't know. But when you learn, you see, once you know the truth, it's easy to detect a lie mm. because you already know the truth. But if you don't know the truth, a lie perpetrated and pushed consistently becomes your truth, truth because you are not aware of what the truth is. But when you invest in your financial intelligence and you invest in financial education, then you will know what to do because once you have that understanding, you realize that number one, there is nothing like get rich quick scheme. Mm. Number two, there is no risk-free investment. Number ah. three, real wealth takes time to be built. <sighs> that understanding will let you know that, look, if somebody is promising you this, 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 no, 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 it doesn't work like that. Oh, this one is risk-free. There is no risk-free investment. Investment is a coin. Return, risk are the two sides of the coin. You just need to find out what is the risk and if it's the risk that you are willing to take. And everyone just needs to take informed risk and calculated risk. Because of you, this has been a September to remember. Thank you so much yeah. for your presence on our show. Thank you. August.